All right, today I'm going to teach you how to stream local videos from your PC onto your Google Chromecast because files like, you know, AVI, you can't open them up through Google Chrome and it plays such as like an MP4. Um, it'll actually just like re-download the file and trust me, you don't want like another 1.5 to 4 gigs worth of you know, media re-download it back onto your hard drive. Um, so, you know, I checked around and I found these two solutions. One of the solutions got its crush and it's uh, called the Real Cloud, Real Player Cloud service. I um, mean, the reason being is because obviously if you look here, you can't enable the extension. Now, as you can very well see, I'll go into settings and extensions and you know I can't click on it because it's installed by a third party now I could go here to the Google Chrome store let's see if it will actually have any help Okay, <clears throat> and as you see, I just obviously went into this thing to try to see if I can find a solution for it. <clears throat> um, Real Player said that they're working on it. So Real Player Cloud would actually work as well because you can actually run an extension into Google Chrome. But the problem is, is that Chrome, since Chrome, you know, you know, 35, does not allow third-party web extensions. <clears throat> so obviously, you're kind of a little screwed it says you actually have this, you know, feature. <clears throat> so, you know, until Real comes out, you know, and gets their stuff into the Chrome Web Store, that method has to hold off. So, once they, you know, once they do it, we'll come back and visit that in a little bit. All right. <clears throat> but obviously, you know, if you go to Plex.tv, click Download, you click Computer, you download English. If you have a Mac, Linux, you know, whatever, but yeah, I have a Windows, so you click download English, or if you want to do Korean, download Korean, whatever is your fix. Already got us out and you download it. Then you obviously you, you get this little thing down here, Plex Media Service. So I've already got it open, so we're gonna go here and I'm gonna show you. All right. Now see this Spider-Man file right here is a AVI. I'm unable to play AVI due to the fact that, well, obviously, it's AVI. But see, if I click on it here, I can play it. Obviously, I'm unable to play it because it is copyrighted material, and I'm not allowed to show copyrighted material onto my YouTube page. But it works. The only problem is, is that the max it'll stream onto your TV is it 720 because there's not a 1080 yet 
for Google Chromecast, you know, for Google Chrome. <clears throat> However, it is something that's being worked on. But you click on it, then you click your little file extension up here at the top. Which I hope you have Google Chromecast plug in. If not, go get it. <clears throat> you know, obviously you can go to Google Chromecast store. You go here. It's just a little thing you click add. You you should already know how to do this if you own the product. <clears throat> but like all your media, movies, music, all that stuff can be accessed through this thing right here. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful tool. Wonderful. So hopefully, you now know how to stream all your movies from your actual PC to your television via Google Chromecast. Now, once Real Player Cloud you know, is actually fixed and they don't have a third-party web extension, we will come back and we'll visit it, and I'll show you how to use it. Um, if you have, like, you know, Chrome 34 or under, that method will work. But see, I keep all my stuff up to date due to the security methods. I mean, obviously, I don't want people getting a hold of my personal information, um, stuff of that nature. So, and plus, I like to keep with the modern times. And plus, I hate being axed over and over and over again if I want to update because of something. Um, so, hopefully, they'll fix this solution pretty fast. Um, I think this is only, I think 35 has only been out for, uh, I don't want to say it's been out long. Yeah, it can move out. I mean, I've got 36, so, um, I don't think it's been out too awfully long, though. Um, maybe a month, month and a half. Um, and I don't think many people actually knew what was going on with it. Um, but, you know. Until then, um, use Plex. Um, the only issue with Plex is, is that, you know, sometimes it'd be like, it could take 30 minutes or it could take 10 minutes. But there there tends to be at times a slight pause um, in the actual video and sound that you see on your TV compared to what's actually going on in your computer. Um, and it skips it. So it's like, it's like a max of like, you know, one to five seconds. Um, if you're very particular about it, it could be annoying, but it doesn't bother me. Um, obviously, I do it mainly for my kid. So, I can have a movie that he wants to watch on my computer, and I don't have to worry about my computer being used. <clears throat> Alright, so y'all have a good day, and hopefully this helps you.